you had two flaws. One was a golfing upper snap, needed to work on the snap, and the other was a lack of a good stride and weight transfer, uh, getting a throwing motion of the hips into the ball. Watch your stride here. Look how short that is. It's amazing. And your bat flies over the top. Uh, not a very good cutting snap. There's a very loopy, golfy swing, point of contact out ahead. But more than anything else, that stride, so short, you just aren't going to generate much power with it. So we get the throwing motion here, you're going down, and we try you on the slide tube, try to get the angle. And again, just your short step, and it's just a very persistent uh, motion. So these hip drills, the four hip drills we did, Dave, are what you're going to have to work on. And you did a nice job. I mean, look at the stride, the weight transfer, the rotation, you flow into it. And then the frisbee drill is always awesome. Look at that. That's something that you never mastered this session, but you'll have to go ahead and continue to watch those episodes and work on it. That's a nice swing there, so much improved. Then we used to have to throw the bat drill and try to let you release with one hand. Uh, just getting the hips to throw the bat drill, it's kind of a dangerous drill, but it's a very effective drill. When we went outside here, the stride is a little bit longer, and that's a vastly improved swing. We want to work on getting this over snap. A to be on a straight line, getting the top hand to blast past the bottom. And then we worked on swinging down a little bit just to try to get the level and trying to get you to keep that lead arm straight so we get a one hand finish, which you had a hard time doing. But the biggest improvement you made of the two is a, is a snap. You leveled it off quite a bit and it showed that you had uh, probably about 15 mile an hour bat speed difference. You were in the 40s and 50s early on. Look at how short that stride is still. But the swing is more level. You've leveled it off and you realize that uh, you know, you can drive it and not throw it. Again, there's the action that you need off of the hips. And so we'll go ahead and work on that when you get back home a lot. And the snap here, you need to drive the top hand past the bottom. It's a little incomplete. It kind of dies there. But uh, again, for working on it and improving your speed, you're 64, 71. You know, I don't think you hit that at all. I think you hit in the 50s, maybe 60, 75, a little radical on that tomahawk. But there's 65, and just a snap alone is making a big difference for you. It's straight over the top. When you end up, you should lock, be locked right there. There you go. Nope. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. You just hit that 290. We hit a ball that almost went out of here too. Hit it about 295 to the base of the fence. Talk about the two or three things here that really sunk home with you to get you out of that mode. Well, the perfect, you know, getting the perfect snap, trying to figure, you know, get the feel of what that's like. It's not there 100%, but it's getting there fast. Uh, and then um, also the uh, the hips, the weight shift. The Nautilus is the one you hit your bomb with to the base of the fence, and anyhow, yep. that bat, uh, describe how that feels. It feels wonderful. When you hit it sweet, it's like it's uh, not even there. It's got longer fibers in it, so it's supposed to break in quicker, and you have a longer sweet spot on it. Okay. But, uh, you are the master of that bat. <laughs> I am now. All of our Florida and Wisconsin lessons utilize evil BP balls. They're easier on the bats because of a higher core and uh, compression balance, but they uh, show the spin there's just an awesome ball to use very durable you get a five percent discount if you mention swing makeover when you order direct uh, also we use a gt they have a 10 percent swing makeover discount if you order direct that bag that fits right in your ball bag and it's a piece of equipment that you have to use if you want to really improve shirts and logos provide all the gear for brett and i when we do our shows and for dave and, and barrett to showcase those fine bodies when we're down in florida